Why are we passionate about helping people who are shy and awkward find deeper connection and intimacy? I'm Kathy Bartoli from theintimacydojo.com, and I'm here with the fabulous Rick Wilkes from thrivingnow.com. And Rick, we've been talking about this. We're doing a new program, um, helping the shy and awkward find connection and, and delight. And I'd love to, why are you, why are you passionate about this topic? Well, I don't think anyone would have called me fabulous when I was really at the intensity of my shy and awkward. It, a lot of qualities of mine were hidden and untapped. To me, intimacy is a way that we tap into ourselves and tap into others. And that there's a depth of intimacy and at certain points in an intimate relationship. And I consider intimacy not just sexual, it is the way that we connect as human beings. Yeah. Um, the depth of that, the deeper we go, the more that we can understand, be understood, meet and be met, and engage in a kind of interaction that I is so deep, so much craving that I feel that ends up kind of bubbling up as I'm almost, you know, you can feel shy and awkward about having so much of a strong feeling for wanting that. And as we help people balance that and get to a place where they can express their openness and their willingness in a confident way in their body and their mind and their words and their attitude, well, then every circle, everything that we participate in changes. Yeah. Uh, thank How you. How about for you? Yeah, to me, I'm I'm so pa- I care about this so much because for years, and I still consider myself shy, but I grew up very shy and awkward. I wasn't really socialized a lot. I was the smartest kid around, mm-hmm. um, growing up, and I had some friends, but it was very I didn't know how to relate to them, and I kind of felt growing up that oh, this is just how it is. Some people are good at this, and in mm-hmm. fact, my dad said I remember I was 14. I was crying because life was I felt so lonely we'd moved schools and I was in a new school that I didn't know anyone and they'd all kind of known each other for years so I didn't yeah. it was trying to fit in and he said no 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 this is how life is you can either be really smart or really popular you don't get both <laughs> and I believed that for years and I just went along with life and it was really bleak like I felt de- it was kind of desolate this landscape I was in I was really smart I was enjoying the work I was doing I was getting you know graduate degrees but I was not connecting with people. I didn't know how. And I, the shyness was always in the way. So if I mm-hmm. reached out and um, it went kind of awkwardly, which it often did because I didn't know how to talk to people and I didn't know what was going on, I just, oh, I'm not good at this. And I push it away and just never talk to that person again. Mm-hmm. And I, eventually my life got bleak enough that I actually, it's like, I'm a research scientist. I have a PhD. Let's figure this out. I bet I can figure something out. It's got to be a practical way got of to be. approaching this. Yeah. And I read a lot of, like, I went through a lot of material. And some of it was really sleazy. Some of it was very artificial. And I didn't want to pretend. When we pretend, that does come across. It come, our, people's primitive brains pick up on the fact that we're being inauthentic. Yes. And they don't know why. You know, that brain is just like, warning signal, there's something off. And it comes off across a little creepy when we're pretending something. When we're not aligned with who we are. And so, you know, I did try those things and it was like not, not successful. Mm -hmm. Um, And it took so much courage to even try them. I was like, oh my God, I've like used up every ounce of courage I have. I can't do this. And then I was really blessed to find some people that learned, that were teaching authentic relationship skills, skills that would let me be awkward and actually leverage my awkwardness and shyness to reach out to people and make a difference. Like, um, and it was eye opening and it did still take some courage, but it wasn't, this like massive amount of courage to pretend something that boomeranged and hit me in the face. It was this gentle baby step forward where I'd take a little bit of courage and, oh, that actually kind of worked. Oh, wow. And the next time I did it, it became easier and easier. And I think so many people are stuck in these bleak landscapes, this desolate, forlorn, like I can never have that longing, looking out like, I, you know, you see the movies where the, the rich people are all inside dancing in the ballroom elegantly and the, the poor orphans are sitting out in the cold watching and longing. That's kind of how I felt about intimacy. Yeah. And um, I realized that it wasn't so much that I didn't have those skills. It was I never built up the muscles and I never had the encouragement and I didn't have a pathway to go forward. So 
when we first tie our shoes, we're awkward. Yes. But we see other people being awkward and we go, oh, okay, it's okay to be a little awkward right now. They're being patient with me. They're guiding me. I'm going to get it. And now you probably tie your shoes without even thinking or have shoes that don't tie. Um, But back then it was so hard. And for me, relationships, the skill building was like that. But I never got through the awkward stage. I was stuck at like a three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old trying to figure out how to tie my shoe and no one was saying, yeah, I feel awkward too. Yeah, this is normal. It's okay to be a little awkward as you go through this. Yeah. And so we want to give you a pathway to erase some of the years of resentment and fear and blocks and shame, um, shame, deep shame, trauma that you might have experienced. And then give you some skills that you can walk through and build up the muscles. So if you went to the gym and you just started trying to lift the 100 pound weight without anyone telling you technique, you'd probably tear muscles. And then you have a new trauma and a new reason to never approach someone. We're going to give you steps to go through so you can build up the muscles. And even though we can't promise you'll never be shy or awkward, you'll be able to use those to connect and and actually build deep, authentic, intimate connections much more quickly by being who you really are. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah. We hope that helps. And we'd love to see you as part of the programs we're offering because we want to create a world we want to live in. And that includes having people that are shy and awkward, having amazing connections.